Hey, this is Mike. I got something neat I want to show you. What you're looking at is a, a laser. This is transparent ferro liquid. And then uh, I'm shooting the beam through the transparent ferro liquid to a screen. I'm probably going to turn the light down on this but and zoom in maybe. Let's see here. So if I put a magnet on the right side, you see this, and as I move the magnet all the way around to the other side, you get a full 360 degree rotation. Now the ferro particles are doing, are 90 degrees out of phase of what you're looking at. So the laser line is this way. The ferro particles within the ferro liquid are vertical, roughly vertical right now. So I'll move the magnet back and forth a few times. So it's a one rev uh, one And if you look at the liquid, you can see it's pretty reactive. Now this cuvette is uh, 10 millimeters square. So the beam is going through 10 millimeters of this ferro liquid. Let's see. So here's a, a armature out of an AC motor. If I rotate it at the right angle, we'll get rotation in both directions. It's kind of like a contactless uh, gearbox. Now the other effect is if I put the magnet this way and rotate it the um, I don't know if this will show or not let's see the beam dims and comes back so as I rotate bright dim bright dim I don't know if that's showing up on the camera um, so right there is a magnetic light dimmer in the making so the liquid itself is a uh, sweet almond oil and ferrofluid the ferrofluid has to be EFH1 oh, hang on let me move the camera Grab, uh, grab something. Now, if I take that, I'll spill it. Zoom back. So basically, I had to refine down the ferro fluid. To refine it down, I used. Sweet almond oil from uh, Crafty Vocals, and it says, uh, I'm reading it through the camera, long shelf life makes this a great carrier oil. So I filled up, fill up this vial, maybe three quarters full of sweet almond oil. And then just load it down with uh, the rest of the way with EFH1 ferrofluid. Shake it really, really well, and then and then drop it on a magnet for 20 minutes, uh, maybe and longer. You you know you got to experiment. This is all just to experiment. 
and what happens is uh, it separates it separates down to this so you pour off the top and that's your ferro liquid it's that simple so you could do a batch every 30 minutes squirt off the top and so this is a, a nice ferro liquid right now and it's gray goo in the bottom <laughs> So if you take the liquid, let's see, I don't know if this will work or not. Take the liquid, walk around, do a bunch of stupid stuff, come back. Let's see, this is going to be blinding, but... There it is. There it is. I don't know if you can see it. There's a magnet. You know, let me if I can get the light different. Uh, uh, maybe if I change angles. See it? That's a magnet in the liquid. Magnet in the liquid. So, more liquid, bigger magnet. You see it? There it is. So I'm sure everybody's going to be rushing down to the Hobby Lobby to get sweet almond oil. So far, that's the only liquid i found that works, but that's the only liquid I tried. Mouse, oh, well, no, I take it back. Mouse milk does not work, and it has to be EFH1. Um, the I got some of the internet ferrofluid, um, and it absolutely does not work. Here it is. It's been on, in almond oil. It's been on the magnet for uh, two hours, and there's a little bit of gray in the bottom. It, you know, but I don't see this uh, thinning out. It looks like it's filled with black writ die EFH1 clear now you can keep pumping you know you can concentrate it this fine particles are staying up in that upper oil this is uh, really awesome because now what you can do is like fill one of these they got a nice big uh, you got a nice big cork in the bottom. These are weird uh, ferricones. <clears throat> they were uh, my attempt at a really uh, indestructible ferrosphere, and I couldn't find a glass sphere that was strong. But you can get these really cheap. I, f I got these on eBay. They're called Bud Somethings. Bud They're not Bud vases. This is this one's huge with a big cork. So you can, should be able to get a big magnet up the throat. So fill this up with uh, ferro liquid. Fasten your magnet to the cork. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Bye.